good day. Today we're going to be looking at sweeping and the sweep is the ability to take a shape and project it along a path. You can think of a sweep like the rubber gasket around the window in an automobile. And so that gasket has a specific shape and, and it follows a specific pathway for it to connect. Uh, or even around a door. The same type of sweep, but that but around a door is typically in a straight line, whereas a car window is definitely not in a straight line. So we're going to talk about how to create that type of uh, shape. And so to begin, we're going to need to work with two different types of sketches. And so we're going to have a sketch for a pathway for it to follow, and then we're going to have a sketch for the shape of the object that is going to follow the path. And so initially we'll start off by creating the pathway. And so we'll start our shape. And this time we're actually going to create a the base plane here. And so on the base surface, we're going to go ahead and create. And it could be done with lines, arcs, fillets. Um, and we can create it with pretty much anything we would like to create it with. But under the line tool, we have a tool that's called a spline control vertex. And what this allows us to do is, is pick locations um, and are an interpolated spline. And these allow us to pick locations and the spline will then work between those specific, specific spots. And so if I start at the 0, 0 location, just so we have a common starting point, and I pick a second point, notice that the spline is interpolating where the next location is going to be. You know, and so if we're actually creating a shape, And the big thing to remember about this is that you do not want the shape so tight, you know, the pathway so tight that the shape that you're going to project around it is going to touch itself. Part of the rules on the sweep is that the object cannot fold upon itself as it sweeps along the path. So we'll do a little bit of movement there. And we're going to go ahead and just choose the create tool. Now the cool thing about this spline is that we can take any one of these data points and move it. And so I need to go ahead and cancel out of the command to, to do that. But once I cancel out of the command of creating it, I can actually grab the data points and redirect what the object looks like. And so that's one of the neat things about the spline is that you can really adjust it to exactly what you need. So this is our pathway. So our object shape will follow this path. We'll finish this path. And we're going to have to create a new sketch. And we could create a work plane if we wanted to vertically. But realistically, I can create a sketch that's vertical based on the 0, 0 location. Since we started with the base plane, we can do a plane that is vertical. And so now that vertical plane, we have the zero, 0, point. I can create a shape that is going to uh, flow around that object. And so let's go ahead and create a gasket kind of shape. create that shape and choose OK and I'll pull this back out a little bit and then I'll create a couple of lines and again look for the green dots to make sure that you're connected to a coincident data point
because this has to be a closed entity, so there can't be any gaps in the shape itself. And so there's our gasket shape. And so I know it does, doesn't look like a whole lot, but it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. And maybe we'll make this a little bit bigger as we pull these object data points out. That's the cool thing about the spline is that we're able to move it and control it. So totally unique. And we'll finish that sketch. So now we've got our we have our pathway and we have our object shape. Now we can use the tool called sweep and it's now figured out exactly what to do. Based on what we've created, it figured out what was the profile, what was the pathway, and how we want to orient this particular object. And the big thing about orientation is how do we want it to control around a curve? Do we want to go use the pathway as the middle of the object? Do we want to use the pathway on the outside of the object and have the object follow just inside? Do we want it to twist or taper as we continue to, to move along that path? And so we'll choose OK. And so now you can see how that object shape actually does look like a gasket that can get clipped into an object. Now one of the interesting things is that you can go back and edit the sketch of the shape. So we can go back and edit that original sketch. And what if I were to throw a circle in it? Okay, and finish the sketch. And nothing changes initially, okay, because of that. But I have to edit the sweep. And when I edit the sweep feature, what will happen is I need to select a new profile. And so the profile I want to select is not the profile with the solid fill on it. I wanted to select the profile with a hole in the middle and choose OK. And so realistically now, what has happened is that this object has created a hole all the way around the object. And so there is actually a hole that goes all the way around this object shape, around this particular piece of gasket tube. Now it's called a tube because it has a hole in the middle. So there's some really interesting things that you can go through and edit but again, remember that once you edit, you have to recreate the sweep to select the profile properly. That will give you an introduction to how sweeps are done and how you can use a sweep in a design. Um, it's great for, for doing extruded uh, objects along a unique pathway. That it's not just a linear extrusion. That that pathway actually is extruded and has curves. So have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.